Hi, I'm Miss Susan. And I'm Miss Rosemary. And welcome, welcome to, to Virtual Mini Math, Math Monsters. Monsters. It's been a long time since we've seen you, but we're back and we're ready to have some fun. Today, we're having fun with sound. And making a sound sandwich. <laughs> so grab your kit that you picked up at the children's services desk and let's get started. So here we're going to play a little bit with sound. I'm going to show you how we measure sound, frequencies, and pitches. I have loaded an app onto one of our iPads that measures sound. And I also have another iPad, which is off camera, which I loaded some funny sounds onto, some fun sounds, annoying sounds, I think is what the app is called. Um, I picked a few sounds that you kids should be familiar with, and we're going to measure them and see what they look like on the measuring app. As you can see, as I have been talking, it has been measuring my voice. So now I'm going to be quiet, and I'm going to play a couple of sounds for you so you can see how high these sounds can make this go. The first one is a fire alarm. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but along this bottom line, this shows you all the pitches, the different. So down here is all your deep notes, your deep frequencies, and these are your higher ones. So as I'm talking, you're seeing the, the movement of this line. So I'm going to play the fire alarm again, and I want you to watch that. Watch that line. See how it gets higher and higher as the sound gets higher. This number is also going up as the number, as the, I'm sorry, this number was also going up as the alarm got louder. Okay, now we're going to do, whoo, there, a whistle. <laughs> I think that's more of an alarm. So let's try this one again. Very steady, and you saw how high it got. I think the max was 86. We're going to reset this. This will reset all our numbers. And we're going to do it again. Yep. So you can see how high that went. I think that is our loudest one that we have here right now out of the ones I picked. We're going to do an air horn next. So you saw a lot of very, very close pitches in here. I'm going to do it one more time. Let me zero it out so you can see it. Wow. Very cool looking, too. Okay, now the next one's going to be a car alarm. I'm going to reset this. I must have made noise. Okay, why are we not resetting? There we go. Now that was very interesting. Let's try, I want to go to an animal sound. Let's try, how about a monkey? <laughs> That's for fun. <laughs> okay, let's see. How about a dolphin? Oh, wow. That was pretty cool. Let's do it again. Let's watch where they're reset. Very cool. Okay. So that's basically measuring sound. 
it would I'm sure you guys thought it was kind of interesting to be able to measure sound but we do measure sound it's not something you can see but you can hear it and there are there are devices that measure sound here's a dog barking here's a bunch of dogs barking Pretty cool. Okay, so now we'll go on to our uh, sound sandwich that we're going to be making today. And once the sound sandwich is made, we can check its decibel level also. So we'll do that next. In the kit that you would have picked up at the children's services desk, it would have included the instructions, two craft sticks, some small rubber bands, one large rubber band, and two pieces of straw. You start out by taking one of your craft sticks and the large rubber band and placing it end to end on the craft stick just like that. You then need to place one of the straw pieces under the large rubber band and push it close to the end. Take your second craft stick, place it over the straw like that. Take one of the small rubber bands and wrap it about three times around the end. Like that. Now with the straw in the same, or the, I should say the craft stick in the same orientation as we started. So this straw is under the large rubber band. You now want to place, make sure that is on there. You now want to place your next piece of straw on top of the large rubber band about the same distance to this end. Take the small, take a small rubber band, wrap it, whoops, whoops, <laughs> wrap it three times around, or four, and I'm gonna show you if you can see, and I Put a picture inside the booklet. Do you see how that rubber band is on top of the straw, then comes across, whoops, I keep turning it the wrong way, comes across and under this straw. So under one straw and above the other straw, that large rubber band should be. That's to lift the large rubber band up so that you can make sound with it. So when you open up the booklet, there's a good picture right here of what I'm talking about. If you have it done correctly, <laughs> it'll make a sound. If you don't have it done correctly, it won't make any sound at all. So then take it apart and redo it. It needs to float between the two crafts. Okay, so we have the, dust, the uh, sound sandwich ready. We just made that. So let's do the decibel level of a sound sandwich. I'm going to reset and then I'm going to blow it. So what I have noticed 
is, okay, so remember I showed you that the sound sandwich has the large rubber band under this straw and above this straw. When I blew in this edge on this side towards the left hand straw, the sound was very low. When I blew through it all the way closer to the right hand side, it is a high pitch. In the middle, is just a basic pitch. So you can actually get two different pitches out of this one. That is really interesting. Okay, well, this app is a free app. Let me let me look at what it's called. It's called a DB meter. That's what the symbol looks like right there. If you guys can see that right there. And it was free to download. And I've been having fun with it, just looking at how my voice is on it or different sounds that I've been playing with with this other app. I will put all that information in the bottom of the, in the details of the video so that you can see what we used, the apps that we used to do these. They're both free, free to use, free to download, and you can have fun with them. I hope you had as much fun today as we did making our sound sandwich. Next month, we're going to make a marble maze. Be sure to register and pick up your kit. Hope to see you soon at Fountaindale Public Library. Bye! Bye.